We have some good news to report this morning. Hurricane Anna, well, it still remains a hurricane, is now still south of the island of Oahu and moving west out of uh, the, the, the strict area of Oahu. We're still feeling the impacts, though, and people need to be on guard and listen to the TV stations, the news, the radio, uh, and use caution as they go about their day on Sunday. Um, it's still dangerous out there. We, for example, have just been put under a flash flood advisory um, because of the heavy rain, and there's a lot of ponding on the roads, so we want everyone to be very, very careful. But the good news is it looks like we've dodged the bullet yet again, and we're ready for the next one, and I think all of us are better prepared. Um, the ocean is still very angry out there, and, and you see the waves, and you see the brown water. We're asking people to please stay out of the water, particularly where it's brown. Um, it can be dangerous. We had a shark sighting yesterday, and we don't want anyone to endanger themselves or our first responders if they have to go out and rescue them. Our shelters were closed as of 8 this morning, and we helped people get back on buses to where they came from. And it's interesting to point out that I'm very glad we opened up the shelters. We had a total of 71 people staying in shelters around the island. Um, Nana Cooley High School had the most, or excuse me, Farrington High School had the most at 32 people. Nana Cooley second at 24. They had one pet there, a service animal. And then Waimanalo had eight, and Lelehua had seven with two pets there. The only shelter that was not taken advantage of was Brigham Young. But the good news is there was opportunity around the entire island, and people took advantage of finding shelter because they did not feel safe where they were. And so we've now shut down those shelters, and our bus is now taking people back to where they came from. We still have our 768 city uh, number up and running. If people need to be taken back, and for some reason they feel they've not been picking up, picked up from one of the shelters, we will get them back to where they need to go. We really appreciate everyone cooperating along those lines. Honolulu Fire Department's been busy during the evening. You're going to hear from them. But we want to, again, emphasize there's a lot of ponding on roads, so please don't go driving around town if you don't have to. Um, we're going to keep our call center open until 9 this evening for calls. Even as we start to wind down, people continue to have questions, and we want to make sure those questions are answered. And the EOC remains activated. That's behind us. You see a lot of very busy people here. But the good news is we never had to declare an emergency, and therefore we don't have a declaration that we have to revoke at this point. We'll just slowly wind down. We'll continue to inform the press and the public as to how it goes in the next couple hours. We have closed more parks. As you know, Hanama Bay was closed. We announced that on Friday today. In addition, Waipio Soccer Park Field has been closed because of ponding. Patsy Mink Regional Park has been closed because of ponding. The zoo will be closed. It opens at 9. It is closed because of ponding. Not very many people are going to the zoo because of the heavy rain, but we don't want people to start to come in with all the water. It's a low-line area. Of West Lock Golf Course in Eva has also been closed because of ponding. All other golf courses remain open, but again, we believe people should check before they go out, given the heavy rain that we're seeing all around the island. As you can see, Hurricane Ana has a very wide, wide area. And while it's past us south and is now moving towards Kauai and past Kauai, we still have these huge bands of rain showers that are wrapping around all of Oahu. The Big Island is starting to see some clearing, so it's going to take a long time before we're out of the woods and we see the sunny skies again. Hopefully that will be tomorrow.